Today I'm going to demonstrate using Microsoft Excel's solver function to solve a transportation problem where in this case we already have a spreadsheet set up and it has uh, it shows three manufacturing facilities this Bellingham, Eugene, and Albert Lee and we have four warehouses that we would like to supply out of those manufacturing facilities and there are transportation costs already identified so to send a truckload from Bellingham to warehouse one four hundred sixty four dollars a truckload from Bellingham to warehouse two five hundred thirteen and so forth so we have our transportation costs and the question is in order to meet the demand at each of those warehouses how many truckloads should we send from each plant so our solver answer is going to go down here in the bottom and the demand for our warehouses warehouse one is going to need eighty truckloads warehouse two sixty five warehouse three seventy and warehouse four eighty five now similarly our supply the Bellingham plant produces 75 the Eugene 125 and Albert Lee 100 and those are truckloads now each of these the demand and the supply both equal 300 which is a requirement of the transportation problem so if your supply and your demand don't match you'll need to use the minimum of those two as a constraint in order to run the transportation model now a couple things that we need to do to get this set up I'm going to put in some formulas just so we get some uh, total quantity ships and I'm just going to copy that across and we're going to look at the total for each where uh, each manufacturing facility as well so I'm just putting a couple totals in here and copying those down so as solver fills in the numbers in the middle I'll get my totals out here and it'll be easiest, easy for us to check and make sure that we haven't over consumed our supply or under sub, uh, under fulfilled our demand last last two items we need to do is we need to name some ranges here and we want to name this range it'll be a little easier to set up our solver formula so to set up a uh, named range I'm going to go into formulas name manager new and this first group up here at the top that I've already highlighted I'm going to call that unit cost you can call it anything you want as long as there's no spaces in there this the cells have already been identified because I had uh, identified those in advance my other area I'm going to close that I'm going to name this area these are going to be my ship quantities so I'll go back into name manager new and I'm going to name this ship QTY got my both ranges named and now all I want to do is set up a place to multiply those together to see what my total costs will be we can use another Excel function it's called equal sum product now if you put your open paren then it just asks you what do you want to multiply together and we would like to put together the two fields that we just named unit cost see that coming up below comma ship QTY and that's going to give me my formula to see what my total cost because I want to minimize total cost now we'll go into to uh, solver that's over here in data on the far right if it's not showing you need to go over into the add-in manager through file options add-ins and add that it's free it just needs to be uh, initialized so I'll click on solver and it's asking where am I going to put the answer and it's right there I'm also going to tell it that I want to minimize my transportation costs so I'll choose minimum there and it says what are you going to change well I'm going to change these variables right here I'm going to change those shipping quantities Pertain, and, but we've got to set up some rules in order for it to work so subject to these constraints and I'm going to add those right now um, total received will need to equal 80 for warehouse 1 total received for warehouse 2 will have to equal 65 and I'm going to go right down the line and set up these constraints so to make sure that the solver honors those requirements and we're also going to have to set up rules for our shipping and that is the total ship is going to have to equal 75 125 and 100 and that's all of our rules we actually do need to change the solving method we're going to use a simplex linear method a little uh, more straightforward and choose solve and it has our, uh, solved, the, solved the problem and I'm going to tell it to keep the solution so it's going to embed that in my spreadsheet and what I see is in Bellham it wants to ship 20 out of warehouse 2